Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Thank you very much for joining it right now. Thank you very much. All right. So we are going to um start here. Vaya. Estoy leyendo unos mensajes en el grupo que no me habían dicho. All right, for example, que hay personas que se salieron del grupo o me están avisando hasta ahorita que no van a estar. Entonces, este, esta, a esas personas, vamos a ver. Permítame que están pidiendo el link de nuevo. Give me one second. Vamos a ver si lo hay rápido. Si no, alguien lo comparte. Ah, oh, ya lo compartió. Mil gracias. Thank you very much, Ismael. All right, so, um, estoy leyendo en el grupo que hay personas que salieron del grupo, que no van a estar, que eh, no sé qué habrá pasado. All right, porque hasta ahorita estoy leyendo esto. Es, uh, no sé, como no tengo los números guardados acá, quiero saber qué grupo es eh, del que se salieron dos personas y quiénes son. Buenas tardes, este, Karen, Karen Castillo. Ok, Karen. Eh, la cosa está de que no le pudimos avisar porque hasta ahora fue que este, se salieron y entonces no teníamos, bueno, estuvimos como viendo, ¿verdad? Como solventar, pero aún no estamos todavía preparándonos. Por eso All le right. pedía de por favor. ¿Quiénes son, Karen? Eh, Olga y Abby, pero no recuerdo su apellido. Abby, ok. Ok, muy bien. ¿Les dieron alguna razón por haberse salido del grupo? Al parecer eran personales. Solo Abby no me, nos mencionó, pero de ahí lo demás no sabemos nada. No, ok. Perfecto. Sí, porque Olga okay. tiene, tiene una semana de no venir. Ajá, ¿alguien me habló? ¿Alguien? Yo sí, es okay. que había hasta el día de ayer mencionó de, bueno, ayer ahora en la madrugada lo vi Ajá. que dijo de que ya me va a participar quién verdad como Abby okay Abby ajá entonces ella dijo que me iba, me iba a participar entonces... Abby, Abby creo que Abby creo que sí me escribió Olga no me escribió verdad ah, y es... Olga ya no nos respondió solo se salió de, de club, del grupo porque... sí Olga ya no ya no ya no se presentó a clases ¿Verdad? Este, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, ¿Quién iba con David? David me, me acaba de escribir ahorita que tampoco va a estar. Entonces, esas personas eh, necesito hacer un listado porque voy a, vamos a dar prioridad para llenar esos cupos. Porque, pues, necesitamos, ¿ok? Eh, gente que, que responda, ¿verdad? Este... Entonces, necesito saber con quién iba David. Eh, iba conmigo, con... Espérame que no me recuerdo. Voy a ver. Ok. ¿Con Daniela? Ok. Entonces iba Irma, Daniela. Marvin, Alexander. Ah, y el otro Alexander. Eh, Alexander Aurora. Sí. Y ninguno de ellos está. Eh, solo Marvin. Yo... Oh, Marvin, aquí lo veo. Marvin Flores. Yeah. Marvin, are you there? Marvin. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm here. Uh... All right. Y Alexander. <coughs> Alexander, Alexander, no, Alexander no está. Vaya, ¿qué les dijo David? Pues, no escribía en el grupo, o sea, nada. Yo hice una pregunta, pero me dijo, o sea, acerca de cómo iba a ser, pero no nos ha visto. No oh, entiendo. Ajá, no ha dicho nada. Sí. No ha dicho nada, ok. Este, sí, porque me acaba de avisar que 
que, ¿cómo se llama? Que no va a poder, que ha tenido problemas para conectarse toda la semana. O sea, lo cual me parece raro porque ayer a las 11 estaba haciendo TikToks. Entonces, este, me parece un poco incoherente. ¿Eh, Ana? Teacher, fíjese de que yo le escribí a Marcela en el grupo porque mi correo me está fallando, entonces yo envié la solicitud, pero igual me quedé en borrador. No sé si es porque ya no lo ha visto o porque yo tengo problemas con mi correo. No, si está en borrador es su correo. Porque una vez que sale, sale de la bandeja de correos. Entonces, este, intente reenviarlo nuevamente. Ana, no se preocupe por su... Puede mandarlo todavía, así que don't worry. Pero si lo puede hacer entre ahora y mañana, please do it. ¿Ok? Sí, debería este... de mandar WhatsApp, porque yo así hice porque también tuve problemas con mi correo. Ah, entiendo. Entonces, si quiere, me lo manda a mí, Ana. Y yo se lo sí, mando a... Ya lo envié tres veces y me cae en borrador y la verdad no le entiendo al correo. Va, entonces, no se preocupe. Mándenmelo a mí al WhatsApp y yo se lo reenvío a, 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 a Gisela. No se preocupe por eso. Sí. Y tienen que contestar el, el correo porque yo lo envié el lunes y no me contestaron. Ah, okay. no, no, no sé lo si ya lo vieron. No, no, no lo contestan. Vale, <ríe> vamos a hacer una cosa. Porque como sure, eso es, I have a question. Voy, voy. Eh, eso es meramente administrativo. No sé cómo lo manejan ellos, pero yo le voy a, a decir que ustedes necesitan responder, que, que, que les responda, porque no, pues, para saber, ¿verdad? Para no estar en el limbo si lo leyeron o no. Este, para que les manden eso. El grupo, ojo, lo que voy a mencionar, el grupo, nuestro grupo, este, hasta donde tengo entendido, guys, voy a seguir con ustedes en el siguiente nivel, hasta donde tengo entendido. All right. Creo que las, eh, eh, la persona que crea los grupos de WhatsApp ya creó el grupo, ya lo vi que está creado el grupo. Sin embargo, creo que no hay nadie, porque todavía creo que no han puesto la invitación. Déjenme corroborar. Ah, como no, si yo veo gente aquí, pero quizás alguna, no de usted, alguna de ustedes se ha unido a otro grupo de WhatsApp que dice eh, 085 básico. Yo no, 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 no. Okay. no. Quiere decir entonces que vamos, a tener, que vamos a tener nuevos, nuevos integrantes también. Vaya, entonces este, pronto, pronto me refiero, no sé si ahora o en el fin de semana, Marcela es la persona encargada de mandar la lista. Ella va a mandar la lista de personas que tiene documentación y ella va a mandar el link para que se unan al siguiente grupo de WhatsApp, que es el 081 para uh, Basic 3. All right. Uh, una vez lo tengan, pues usted busca su nombre en la lista, porfa. Si no ve su nombre ahí, me escribe inmediatamente para saber qué pasó. Que ¿Okay? yo poder ver qué se puede hacer por su nombre, para que no se queden fuera. Este, si, usted ve, si usted ve su nombre en la lista, pues está inscrito formalmente y solo se uniría al siguiente grupo de WhatsApp. And that's it. ¿Verdad? Bye. Vamos a ver. ¿Tenía Daniela uh, questions? Que no están los otros integrantes del grupo, no se los que están. ¿Quiénes son, Daniel? Bueno, uno, Daisy, uh, el otro, Alexander. Creo que. Vaya, pero so, de, de, de tu grupo, Daniela, solo estás tú, está Irma y está Marvin, entonces. Ok, vaya. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente, guys. Este, vamos a pasar los, los que estén. Si ya tienen la presentación hecha, ok, este, y, y la parte del integrante está allí, este, uh, la saltamos o si hay que leer, pues lo lee una de ustedes y ya estuvo. Aunque esa parte no se la voy a evaluar si la leen, no se la voy a evaluar porque no es su parte, ok. Se salta en esa parte y continúa el integrante que esté, ¿verdad? Hasta que continuamos. Ok, eh, ok, perfecto. Eh, Mayra y después Karen. Teacher, este, con lo de las solicitudes que estaban diciendo, 
Sí. Este, el día de ayer, eh, a mí la verdad se me fue todo el tiempo, o sea, se me fue el tiempo, la verdad, eh, porque he pasado muy ocupada en el trabajo. Uh -huh. Entonces, este, yo no logré enviar la, la, la solicitud. Y ya ayer dijo, no, no me recuerdo si mal dice de Giselle. que definitivamente ajá, ya no iba a recibir más solicitudes. Ajá, que iba, eh, que si les quedaba algún, algún cupo, los iba a, a, a mandar la, a informarnos, dijo. Correcto. Pero, eh, este, pero escuché que le dijo a alguno de los compañeros que, que todavía podían enviar la hora. Mándemelo pero a mí. no sé si es... Ah, se lo envió a usted. Uh -huh. Please. Ah, vale. Y yo... vale, se la voy a enviar entonces. A la WhatsApp, solicitud de la hoja. Hoja. Al WhatsApp. Al WhatsApp. Cuando sí, termine sí. de. Ajá, la, la solicitud es la hoja. Ajá. La solicitud es la que está, la que, la que mandó Gisela en el grupo. Mar... No sé si ¿Sí? Gisela o Marcela. Ajá. Yo no la he enviado. ¿Por qué, Marvin? <ríe> Porque <ríe> no he podido. Marvin, ok, bye. Les explico, les explico por qué es importante esta solicitud y luego vamos a empezar porque el tiempo se nos va a ir. Lo que pasa es lo siguiente. Eh, si usted no manda la solicitud, se, se piden dos, se piden como con dos semanas antes, aunque usted el curso no lo haya terminado, se pregunte, pero no sé ni siquiera si voy a pasar. Bueno, aunque no sabemos la nota final todavía, pero al menos su, su cupo está reservado, ¿ok? Entonces, ¿por qué hacen esto como una o dos semanas antes? Para no tener mucho tiempo entre clase, entre curso y curso. Porque si eso lo dejamos hasta última hora, normalmente ese periodo de inscripción, de mandar boletas, recibir inscripciones, tarda entre una o semana y media. Entre recibirlo nosotros, mandarlos a Insafor, es un, es un rollo bastante complicado y tedioso. Por eso es que ellas las están pidiendo antes para que este, no haya gran espacio entre curso y curso. Por ejemplo, el básico 3, bueno, ya soy, ellos se, se lo va a anunciar la persona encargada, pero el básico 3 inicia el miércoles. Es decir, terminamos lunes e iniciamos miércoles. ¿Ok? Martes, mier yes, martes, miércoles. Un día de descanso, porque ya se, ya se tuvo, ya se recibieron todas las solicitudes. Entonces, por eso es que es importante que usted nomás vea la solicitud del próximo nivel, mándela. All right? Este mismo día ese, o el día siguiente, más tardar, <coughs> o en el transcurso de la semana, para que eh, Marcela, Gisela y Carolina eh, eh, pongan su, eh, su cupo, ¿verdad? All right? uh, Otra pregunta, antes de poder iniciar, ya les dije, ¿verdad? Vamos a iniciar. Please, asegúrense de que, su, de, que, de que su micrófono se oye bien, ¿ok? Porque si no se oye bien, entonces no voy a poder evaluarle, ¿ok? Asegúrense de que habla fuerte, que no hay mucho ruido alrededor para que yo pueda eh, eh, entender lo que usted me está diciendo, ¿verdad? Alguien me preguntaba ahí cuántos niveles son. Son 3, 6, 9, 12 niveles, ¿ok? Entonces son tres básicos, tres y pre, tres básicos, tres preintermedios, tres intermedios y tres avanzados. All right? Very good. So, ready? Ya saben, tienen todos tienen todos sus sus, sus presentaciones, right? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Correcto, Cru, eh, Cruz Sandoval José Ismael. Yes. Si tienes algún problema con mandarla mandarla en en el correo electrónico, me la mandas a mí a WhatsApp y vemos qué se puede hacer. Porfa. Eso sí, tiene que ser entre ahora y mañana, ¿verdad? Porque el lunes, el lunes, el domingo no trabajan ellas y, y el lunes se termina el curso, ¿verdad? Ok. Teacher. Bye. Yes, Andrea. Uh, solo una pregunta con respecto a que yo tenía dos cursos agregados aquí en mi plataforma. Uh -huh. El de básico de las cuatro y el básico de las seis. Okay. Dijo que le iba a escribir a una de las muchachas para que me liberaran una. Pero, ¿has completado el de las seis? ¿André? Sí, ese es el que he estado completando. Pero okay, el de no. las cuatro a las cinco y medio todavía está ahí. Sí, no te preocupes. Yo no estoy inscrita ahí. No, no te preocupes. Mientras tú tengas el de la, el de la hora, el otro se puede liberar ahora o te puede quedar ahí sin, sin ninguna afectación. Okay. 
Ah, ok, gracias. Perfecto. Bien. So let's go. Let's go back to English and let's start with the presentations, ok? ¿Cómo funciona eso? Empezamos así. Yo empiezo group number one. Group number one empieza. Tiene su exposición. Group number two, ok? No, no, no le voy a dar retroalimentación ahorita porque el tiempo no nos va a alcanzar. En el grupo pasado me quedó un grupo fuera porque el tiempo se va súper rápido. All right? Entonces, para que no pase eso y que todos puedan pasar ahora, este, lo vamos a hacer así. Usted habla, termina el grupo, siguiente grupo, siguiente grupo, ¿verdad? Y el lunes yo les doy un resumen de todas las cosas que yo oí que hay que mejorar. ¿Ok? Y luego, si individualmente quiere saber cuánto sacó, pues me escribe y yo le doy su nombre. All right? Este, las partes de las personas que no están, elimi no elimínenlas, pero las, las pueden obviar, o si tienen letras, los leen y continuamos. All right? Very good. All right. Um, thank you, Ana. Let's see, let's see, Ana. Déjenme confirmar, Ana. Okay. Thank you, Ana. Very much. All right. Bye. Let's go. Who is group number one? Canada. Okay. Give me one second. All right. Who is going to share the screen? Quien comparte la pantalla, the presentation and all that? Who is in charge of that? ¿Quién es él o la encargada de eso? ¿O no hay presentación? All right, excellent. Thank you, Daniela. All right, guys. Soy todo oído. Yo no voy a hablar absolutamente nada hasta que el grupo acabe. Let's go. Yes. Se mira la presentación. Yes, se mira. Daniela, no sé si, si te, te oigo bien lejos. Te oigo lejos, like, you know. Okay, who is going to start? Uh huh. I'm ready. Estoy listo. Let's go. Creo que son, creo que no está. Okay. Si no hay nadie, con continue. Unfortunately, do your part and let's continue. Let's go. Costo de vida. Hasta el costo de vida creo que vas. Nadie va a hablar de todo eso, de public transportation, de... Uh... No, lo, lo agarró alguien y, y es el que no está. ¿Quién agarró esa parte? Do you remember? Mm, Mejor digamos que... quiénes van a... Yo soy de este grupo, yo voy a hablar de los artistas. Sí, sí. Yo voy a hablar del costo de vida. All right. And you, Daniela? Solís iba a decir el uno. All right. Okay, démosle. Let's go. Costo de vida. De déjame girarlo para leer bien. Living code. What is life be like in Canada? Will it be easy? To answer the following question, I will 
mention the most important points. In Canada, the uh, minimum salary is um, 2470 dollars per month. How much those are raw costs? If you want to lie those ones, you probably in single rooms, a prince ranking from um, seven hundred uh, to eight hundred uh, room cost the electric energy for family is able to reach a uh, fifty per month. In, and the bills uh, pay every two months. Supermarket shopping in Canada around um, $250 Canadian per month per person. In, in telephony, the cost, there are some monthly plans which offer more affordable plans in addition and prices vary from uh, $50 uh, to $60 Canadian, depending the service packet in the company. Service, uh, the internet um, plus TV. Internet, uh, I have the cost and packet option that also include um, cable TV star for $65. A dollar Canadian per month. A transport public. And the transport public uh, for the cost a uh, three dollar with uh, twenty five cents for adult. A two dollar. A ten cents cents for student in senior childrens up to those uh, into 12 years or no no pay ticket. How much those in the coast is to the university in Canada? The coast, uh, the coast university degrees varies according to each institu institution in each area study to start planning. You should consider a semester tuition of Nine thousand dollar Canadian to uh, twelve thousand dollar Canadian with home loading. El turismo, ¿quién le toca? Tourism, who is going to talk about tourism? No tourism? No? Okay. So, just read. What are the touristic places right there? Go back, go back. Va, va para atrás, go back. All right, yeah. Okay, Marvin, what are the touristic places in Canada? Just read. Para que no quede así pelón esto, all right? So just read, what are the tourist places in Canada? Red Can Canal, Niagara right. Falls, and Banks National Park. Excellent. So uh, the pronunciation for Niagara, Catarata de Niagara is Niagara. All right? Niagara? Yeah, Niagara oh, Falls. Oh. That's correct. It's a beautiful place. I've never been there. Nunca está, right? I've never been there. But according to the photos, it's a beautiful place to be there. Thank you. Continue with the next presentation. Let's go. The next place is right there. All right, continue, Marvin. Okay. Uh, with course, we be Quebec. Quebec. Yep. Oh, in Churchill. 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 Nice. All right, continue with the next. All right. Anybody with this one? Human right in uh, Canada. Oh, es otro punto. 
I don't know. Alguien va a hablar de eso? Me. All right, excellent. Let's go, Daniela. Okay. Yeah. Canada, you do Next. Me. All right. Mm. Okay. Uh, some of the best known artists in Canada are Justin Bieber and April Levine. Uh, yeah. Justin Bieber is singer somewhere. Bieber is 29 years old. He is married. In 2008, it was discovered uh, it by Shane uh, by a uh, music secure. Uh, um, when he watched videos on YouTube, um, and today, and today Bieber has many achievements. Another artist is April Levine. Uh, she's singer, songwriter, fashion designer. Levine is 39 years old. Mm, some magazine critics, they know her the princess of pop punk. Um, she, she started her musical career in 2000. April has, has sold 72 million of albums. And, and nowadays, Levine has many has many accomplishments just to give just to give the idea. In my opinion, one of his most beautiful songs is complicated. Thanks for your time. No escucho nada. No sé si me escucharon. Yes, yes. Ah. Everything is clear. My microphone was muted. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Next. Oh, that's it. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Irma. Thank you, Daniela. And thank you, Marvin, for the effort. Thank you for standing up for your group. All right. You levantaron el grupo. All right. So thank you very much for that. Um, we are going to continue. Thank you. So you can stop sharing. All right. Let's continue with uh, group number two. You can stop sharing. Oh, Emma, do you have any question, Emma? Eh, nosotros vamos a transmitir también la presentación. All right. 
Excellent. Let me check right now. Give me. Teacher. Uh, nosotros, eh, nosotros le escribimos en el chat. Somos el grupo tres, pero queríamos pasar segundo. Oh, okay. Give me, give me one moment. Just a second. All right. So, oh, eh, please stop sharing. Eh, keep, eh, please, please close the presentation, please. Yeah. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. So let's see who. Uh, um. Uh, Jennifer, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, <laughs> Jennifer. So you are group number two. Let's go. See you. Yes, I can see very well. Excellent. Okay. Este, uh, good afternoon, classmate and teacher. We are the group number three. Well, two. Uh, the member my work team uh, are the following: um, Nestor Ulises Hidalgo Barrera, Anne Esmeralda, Maybelline Lopez, Alejandra Ochoa, Nestor Hector Stanley Ayala, and Jennifer Gonzalez. Uh, the this day um I will talk about the country called the uh, New Zealand. Uh, the New Zealand uh, is a beautiful country make up of the two large islands along with numbers smaller island that is part of the continent Oceania. The country of the great white cool as New Zealand. Is also now a name has its legend telling me that the country has produced in cup, which is giving the nice austere, which translate to land to light to lands of the great white cloak. Hence its name. What is the New Zealand? The New Zealand is a country in the Pacific. Uh, the separation from the Australia by a two two thousand kilometers of the ocean. This is ocean. This the uh, two thousand kilometers the ocean. This is New Zealand. Is uh, is the make of the several islands. Uh, is popular concentrates in two main ones: the North Island. And Sur Isla. The population population is of the New Zealand as today. The it's uh, a five million two hundred thirty nine thousand five five hundred fourteen. With annual growth, the rate of the of the zero put a one one person. New Zealand has population of the zero put zero zero six five percent of the world's population. Uh, the next author collates with the past. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, class. I speak of the extinction. Bien. Um, the extinction of New Zealand, Maori Awatiroa, is an island country located in the southwestern Pacific Ocean near the center of the ocean hemisphere. Uh, it is made up of large number of islands, around 700, mainly remains of a large land mass that is now under the sea. Do their size, the main island are the North Island or the Ika uh, Maui and the South Island or the Wain name separate the, the Cook Strait. Next, please.
let's continue. Okay. Uh, the third largest is Stewart Island or Raikura, located 13. Regresala, por favor. Okay, thanks. Located 30, 13 kilometers from the deep of the South Island across the Foibu Strait, the other island have a considerably smaller area. The three largest island extend 1,700 kilometers across latitude is 35 centigrade to 47 graders centigrade south. The New Zealand is the sixth large island country in the world with an area of the 268,710 kilometers. New Zealand predominantly bad landscape range from the George of the Southwest to the subtropical sandy beach in far north. The South Island is dominated by the Southern Alps, Tiri Tiri on the Moana, while a volcanic plateau covers much of the central North Island. Okay, temperature of New Zealand. The temperature is are typically below zero graders centigrade and above 13 graders centigrade and conditions vary from wet and cold on the wet coast to arid and continental a short distance across the mountains and tundra-like climate in the deep south of the Southland. Thanks for listening to me. Language in New Zealand. Next, please. Language in New Zealand. New Zealand has three official languages. English, Maori, and Sikh language. English and the most spoken language. It is estimated that 96% of the population use is daily for work and for daily communication at home. Next. Next, please. Maori became an official language in 1987. This Aboriginal language has seen in recent years. However, it remains the language of a late minority. For example, it is estimated that only 115,000 people speak. These, these represent 3.7 percent on the country total population. These finger speak of a state decrease compared to 4.1 percent in 2006. Next, other language in New Zealand. Samoan is spoke by by 2.3 percent in the spoken B. 1.4 sport. French is going to be 1.2 percent. Chinese, Cantonese, and Mandarin is spoken, is spoken by approximation 1 percent on the population each. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, company. Well, and um, continue topic and capital inquiry. Wellington is the capital of New Zealand, location at the southern tip of uh, other island. It's a picture for vibrant RSN and other recreation opportunities. The city is also home to the government and several cultural institutions. Uh, is the island is the beautiful and the people in the trouble is the beautiful. The currency of New Zealand is the New Zealand dollar, uh, abbreviated um, is NCD. 
it is a commandly denoted divine mass symbolar dollar or and C dollar. The New Zealand dollar is some baby, some some baby in 200 cents, similar to penny in the USA. Next, please. Thank you. I will share information about some tourist sites of New Zealand. Number one, it's Crete's, Crete's Shore, often referred to as the Garden City. It's a captivating tourist destination in New Zealand. No for its diverse and captivate, captivating architecture. The city boasts a unique blend of history and contemporary architecture styles. Following the devast the devastating Hercules in the two thousand and ten in 2011. Um, Creature has been undergoing a significant archi architectural transformation resulting in marem innovate a structure that complement the remnant of its Headed, headed it. The Crete Shore Cathedral, which is a Catholic revival architecture, is a unique, is a unique landmark. Next slide, please. Number one. The, the Lean Light Center is a building dedicated to the world of artists and filmmaker Lean Light, located in New Plymouth on the North Island of New Zealand. Its it's Fakai it's is a compote of Stanley's skin that moves and reflect light. I think in impressive and that and that about peace. Thank you. Abel Tasman National Park. Abel Tasman, Abel Tasman National Park is a beautiful national park located in the South Island of the New Zealand. It was named after Dutch explorer Abel Tasman, who was the first to see it in New Zealand, New Zealand in December 1642. This national park is known for its stunning natural beauty. The coldest sand beaches, crystal clear waters, and variety of Wildlife. Some highlights of the Tasman National Park include. Next, please. A spectacular beaches. The park has a number of stunning beaches, include the famous and church a beach, which is a popular place to camp, enjoy the sun and water. Next, please. Hiking trials. There are many hiking trials in the park that allow visitors to explore its natural beauty. The coastal track is a one of the, mo the most popular and often panoramic coastal views and bird watches opportunity. Next, please.
water activities. The park is a popular destination for water activities, such as jacketing, diving, and snorkeling. The park crystal clear water are ideal for exploring the marine life and nearby island. Next, please. Wildlife. The park is home to wide variety of, of wildlife, including birds, reptiles, and mammals. Among the birds that can be seen in the park are the kiwi, takaje, and caca. Camping and low. Next, please, for Camping and loading. The park after camping option. As a well camping and low accommodation for to who we see to spend the night in the park. Thank you for attention. Uh, hello everybody. Um I will tell you about I will tell you more. Do you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. New Zealand is famous for its national rugby team and its picturesque landscape, glow worms, glaciers, penguins, etc. New Zealand is one of those countries that has it all. And uh, in addition to its tourist attraction, this country is unusual for start to finish. So now I will show you some interesting facts about New Zealand. Let's go there. And the first one, but one is more sheep than people. The livestock industry is one of the main industries in the country, uh, particularly sheep. Did you know that for every person living in New Zealand, there are at least 10 sheep? Next, please. Uh, fact number two. Uh, this, what you see here in the scene, is not a tongue twister and no, I didn't broke my keyboard. And New Zealand has the town with the longest name in the world. Uh, it's not, um, this is the name of a town of the East Coast of New Zealand. And it's in translation for Maori goes something like this. The place where Tamatia, the man of the big knees who is lipped, clipped and smallest Montaigne, known as the land eater. He played the flow to his loved one. <laughs> it's a funny name for a town, right? Next, please. And the fact number three. Um, according to the Guinness Book of Records, the Estepas Street in the world is located on the South Island of New Zealand and is Baldwin Street with a slope of 19 degrees. Can you imagine what it must be like to live at the top? Next, please. Uh, fact number four. Hector's dolphin is one of the rarest dolphin species in the world. Can be found off the coast of New Zealand. They are the smallest marine dolphins in the world. They have distinct blank facial marking, short, stocky bodies, and a dorsal fin shaped like a Mickey Mouse ear. And next, please. And fact number five. Gold is the sport player, but the most kiwi. There are more golf courses in New Zealand per capita than anywhere, anywhere else in the world. And there's even a golf hole at the top of Sunfield Peak in Queenstown uh, that can only be accessed by helicopter, like you see in the picture. Um, next, please. Ah. <laughs> so there you have it, a uh, snippet of New Zealand. And it's the land of the long white clown. And we only show you around some of New Zealand hidden hands. And this is all. Thank you for your attention. Awesome. Thank you, group number two. You did it so good. All right. Very good. So 
thanks for sharing the information about Australia, good presentation and everything. I have one question for you, Jennifer. If you can answer this question for me, please. All yes, the members, I all the members of the group were here. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect, oh. perfect, perfect. All right. Thank you. So now we are going to continue with group number number two. I think it's I am seeing some some uh, flags right there for England, if I'm not mistaken. Who is group number yes. two? Yes? Yes. Perfect. Yes, Excellent. Let's go. You 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 have uh group number two. Well, number three now. Teacher. Yes. Uh, say Ireland or England. Uh, who is number three? I don't know. It's okay. Ireland. Okay, we can go with Ireland and then we can continue and we we'll finish with some um, uh, England. Let's go. Um, yes. Uh, good evening, teacher and classmen. Our group today will talk about. Uh, uh, no se escucha muy bien el audio, Andrea. And Andrea, te escucho suave. <laughs> Ahora se me escucha? Perfect, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good after good evening. Uh teacher and classmate. Our group today will talk about Ireland. Next, please. Hi, good evening. Uh, capital, the Ireland is Dublin. Dublin is the capital and largest city of Ireland. Dublin is in the province of Leinster on Ireland, a coast at the mouth of the river Life is. Next, please. The office official language is did you know English and Irish Gaelic are the official language is the Republic of Ireland. Northern Ireland is where you hear the soft stray of Ireland. Euster Scott, your friends, Gaelic, ears speaking, areas predomin predominantly Along the west coast, where ice is widely as spoken. Thank you. Um, okay. The cost of living. Is it expensive to live in Ireland? Ireland is a relatively expensive country to live in, especially in its major cities like <clears throat> Dublin. <clears throat> next, please. Cork, next. And Galway, next. 
However, the cost of living can vary depending on <clears throat> various factors like location, lifestyle, and personal choice. Summary of cost of living in Ireland. A family of four estimated monthly costs are uh, uh, next please. 3,563 dollars and 70 cents. A single person estimated monthly cost are 1,090 dollars and 40 cents with a rent. Cost of living in Ireland is on average 9.8% lower than United States. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, Ireland has uh, a lot of landmarks, but no, I will think about the most common and popular landmark in Ireland. Uh, the first one more are the cliffs of Moher. Uh, located in countries where are ERC1 of the most reusable natural landmark in Ireland. They stretch for a uh, impossible 14 kilometers a lot the road clear what in a region known as the border. At a yes, there's point, the cliff of the motor brain. If a lot three wonder, make the feel about the Atlantic view. As a curiosity, I reported on the Alflo Price. It was recorded in this beautiful life. Next, yes. Uh, number two, the uh, spring is now. Judging of, of the Atlantic, of the Coast of the Especially, Michael is a very known of the two things to appreciate in a Star Wars movie is also the only one you visit. And number next clip. The business store house is starting from the house at Spain Young over near two points. Park. The story is located of the same site. Where are two people? Took out a uh, 9,000 bills, last in 1,759. The business of house is another of the most common in Landmark, Ireland. If Ireland most visited more tourists for your attraction, you can take a self here or a yet more a can about the things of the interested in gravity bar. Thank you. Uh, population. The current population of Ireland in 2023 is 5, 0, 5, 6, uh, 9, 3, 5, and 0, uh, 67% in Britain from uh, 2022. Culture. Um, Irish culture is rich, diverse, and a joy to discover. Uh, it includes myths, um, literature, music, dance, uh, art, 
using and language. Mm. Uh, originally, uh, originally the culture was pure Gaelic, but then in English influenced be the English Tudor English, Scott, normal and be kind. Uh, North, Northern Ireland's culture was evening influenced by the Scott, but at its core, and Irish culture as token, his elements and cover, then intro air strong, Gaelic herbs. Thank you. All right, group number number three. Excellent job, good presentation, good uh, graphics, good images, um, good information. Okay, so we are going to continue with group number four. Now, uh, the group was complete or there is someone missing? Um, no, uh, four, four uh, part participate. Okay, four part participants. And and you were how many? What was it? You were how many? Six. 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 Four. Okay, so we have two that did not participate. All right. No problem. Thank you very much. Group number three. And now we know more about Ireland. Beautiful country. And uh, let's go to um group number four. And this is England. Give me one moment. England. Okay, for England, Jamie, how many members do you have in your group? Four teachers. Four. Uh, yes. You are, you are complete? Or there yes. Is... Perfect. No, complete. Complete? Yes. Perfect. Yes, teacher. Okay. Excellent. Okay, Jamie. Somos todos oídos. Let's go. Good evening. Today we'll be talk of English. Next. Next. Uh, official language English population of their 65 million. Um, Junei Kiston in England, England, Scablet, I, I, Gerard, Gray Bingle. Um, money, money is a Kurusipan Esteri. Next. Lenguaje, le, lengua uh, of English, speaking English is um, melon sponge in the United Kingdom, English, Scarlet, uh, Wayson, Norte, Inglaterra. Next. The, the FAP, England. Is forming the day cross of seed horsey is red, gris cross is a uh, white flat. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, good evening. I am going to talk about the cause of me, but to go into detail, I will first talk about the currency in the circulation in, in England. Uh, currency in circulation in England, the pound sterling considered to be the oldest currency still in circulation. 
Ay, no sé qué pasó. Ok. Uh, I will mention a few pieces uh, of something. Uh, housing, uh, 1,800 pounds and 2,500 pounds. Uh, telephone, uh, 10 pounds uh, and 25 pounds. A full uh, uh, 2,500 pounds and uh, 2,000. And education, uh, 10,000 to 45,000. Transport, uh, 150 to to uh, 250 in health is public this uh this please uh, depend of which uh, city in england you are in Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the landmarks of England. The first place place uh, is London. London is a world cultural capital, uh, the most visited city, uh, considering the numbers of the international visit. London is one of the most popular destination on the planet with emblems such a big Ben, uh, marking the passage of time or Buckingham Palace. Next place is Liverpool. I have a problem with past the Anna, Anna, you can close it, close it and reopen it. Y se va a arreglar. Close it and reopen it. Okay. All right. Now share it one more time. Okay. Okay, stop, stop for a moment, Cap. Vamos a arreglar esto. Don't worry. Perfect. All right. The next. No, but I... The next plate... Voy a, a, a tratar eh, de otra forma. Ok. Ok. Um, Liverpool. Liverpool, also known as the city of the Beatles, every year. Liverpool is visited by thousands or fam of Beatles, of the Beatles. Uh, Liverpool is maritime city in Northwest England, uh, where the river Mercy, Mercy meets the Iris, Iris Sea. The next place is Windsor Castle. I I have a problem with my computer or teacher microphone. Teacher microphone. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> so, you can close it y solo lo déjalo en las pantallitas. O, ¿será que me, si faltan muchas diapositivas, me puedes mandar esa diapositiva a, la, a mi WhatsApp y yo la hago? It doesn't matter. It's okay. Ay, ya se pudo. Ya. Excellent. Okay. Ay. Windsor Castle, the home of royalty. Um, it's a palace and royal residence located in Windsor. Um, the royal court normally inhabits it from April to June. Uh, Windsor is also home to a youth art collection um, and the library. The next place is Manchester. Manchester, the city of football soccer, is paradise for lovers uh, of the beautiful sport. Um, is the city was where the first theater in England appeared, and not in London as many people could imagine. Manchester has a large mm, number of museums uh, with many pieces and ancient Egypt. Um, the next place is the Unifor University of Oxford. Oxford University is a public research university located in Oxford, England. Oxford uh, University is considered uh, one of the best in the world. It's the oldest university in the England, um, in the English speaking world. The buildings, the buildings and architecture of the university are the um, main attraction of the city. The next place is Mayfield Lavender Farm. Lavender normally begins to bloom at the end uh, of June and it is peak uh, time is July in August. The weather, uh, the weather can always uh, influence this. The lavender ground in this field is organic. Uh, my friend, lavender is the largest uh, organic lavender farm in the unit kingdom. The next place is Brighton. Uh, Brighton, the most important place to visit in Brighton. Um, our um, Royal Pavilion, uh, India in England, um, Brighton Dome, the Dome. Uh, Brighton Coastal City, famous for its atmosphere, its pier, and its beaches. It's the most lively city in the sur in England, um, beach, bar, and graffiti. Thank you for attention. No Ana, microphone, microphone, microphone. Sorry. Uh, population uh, with almost uh, 50 million inhabitants, according to the 2001 census. Uh, England is the most popula populous uh, constituent country of the United Kingdom with. Uh, eight Se callan porque hablar voy, ¿ok? Of the total population.
<laughs> hi, teacher. Hi, guys. I speak about extra information. I mean, not because I have the same problem. Okay. Okay. Lo voy a dejar así que sale. All right. Hoy sí, Iliana. Yvonne, Jamie. Hoy, Yvonne, okay. Jamie. I speak about extra information. Tell you that the United Kingdom is um, the onion of con for con different countries. Um, next, please. England com Coatling, perhaps the most famous typical costume in the United Kingdom is the kilt or a scouting kilt with its particular dressing in plain fabric. London is the largest city in e Europa. Next, please. Next, I will tell you some of the musical genres. They are blues rock, heavy metal, progress rock, hard rock, pop rock, electric folk, folk punk, ice jazz, trip hop, shrek, shrek, okay? drum and bass, grind, brick pop, and dubstep. England is the most obvious country in the United Kingdom. In England, there is a garden that only has plants that um, kill. For example, a dog and cocaine and opium. His name is Poison Garden. Next, please. Windsor is the largest and oldest castle used by royal family. Saying just meet in England is similar to our expression menganito or fulanito. The most common surname are um, Smith, Jones, Taylor, and um, Brown. Thank you for attention. All right. That's it. This word, this word you, is presentation. Thank you. Present, <laughs> all right. Presentation. Thank you, Ileana. Thank you, um, Jamie. Anna and Carla. Thank you very much. Now we know more about England. All right. So we listened, we heard about England, about Ireland, about New Zealand, and about Canada. Very good presentations. Um, uh, it's a shame that other people could not be here for this presentation. Right, so um, thank you for like you know the 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 good spirit of being here to complete the homework. So I must say this in Spanish. Let me switch to Spanish a little bit, right? By uh, guys and girls. Con eso terminamos la y la evaluación oral, verdad? Es, gracias. Yes, it. Eh, en el grupo de nosotros eh, no pasó Stephanie, pero ella hizo la presentación. No sé es, si le va a contar. A ver, a ver, esto es que esto es qué grupo me dices. Eh, el grupo número uno. Grupo, oh, grupo número uno. Give me one moment. Give me one moment. Canadá. Sí, Canadá. Okay. No ella de que le había dicho a ustedes que iba llegando a la casa, porque por eso no se pudo conectar. All right. Bye. Gracias. Ah, pero ella hizo, la ella hizo toda la presentación. 
Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Gracias por decir. All right. So, um, uh, con esto terminamos la evaluación. Okay. Um, and we are going to continue right now. Lastimosamente, pues no todos los, no todos los, um, los participantes estuvieron en clase. Yo quiero decirles lo siguiente. Lastimosamente, ellos no están acá. Me hubiese gustado que ellos estuviesen acá. Eh, cuando, cuando, nos, cuando ustedes se inscriben a un curso, usted pro, programa su, su horario de acuerdo al horario que más le convenga, ¿verdad? Algunos de los que están aquí no están aquí porque vienen manejando, porque vienen de clase o porque están en otro tipo de actividades. Entonces, yo les recomiendo de que si su horario choca con cualquier otra actividad que le impida estar en su clase, pues tenemos otras opciones de horario, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, uh, que, que para que no le, no le hagan, no se le unan dos, dos actividades, ¿verdad? Porque al final de todo, pues, ¿de qué sirve que se conecte una clase o media hora? Este, si la hora dura una, una, clase, una hora y media, está media hora, la otra media hora no está. Entonces es muy intermitente, ¿verdad? Les dejo eso para futuros, para que en futuros cursos también nos organicemos en el tiempo. Les agradezco nuevamente. Vamos a, tenemos nueve minutos para terminar. So we are going to check this. The first conditional. Oh, by the way, a propósito, el lunes les voy a dar a, a cada uno su nota, porque tengo que organizar todas mis notas que iba escribiendo. Este, uh, lo que sí les voy a decir a, ahorita como una cosa general, me hubiese gustado que se leyera menos. Eso es para todos los grupos, todos los grupos. Me hubiese gustado que se leyera menos, ¿ok? Este, no hubiese importado que su presentación hubiera sido de menos tiempo, pero si hubiese, se, se hubiese leído menos, ¿ok? Tengámoslo eso en cuenta para futuras presentaciones, ¿verdad? Porque el propósito de la evaluación oral es para precisamente evaluar su speaking, no su reading. ¿Verdad? No evaluamos la lectura, evaluamos, evaluamos el speaking. Entonces, y otra cosa que, que he visto, que a pesar de que estamos leyendo, estamos leyendo mal. Entonces, me refiero a mal pronunciar. Cuando usted tenga una duda de una palabra, no la pronuncie como cree que se diga o, o como... Eh, o, como, o como caiga, como decimos en buen salvadoreño. Tal puede ser que por los nervios nos traicionaron, ¿verdad? Y, y dijimos lo primero que se nos vino a la mente y entonces, este, no, 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 ¿cómo se llama? No dijimos la palabra, la palabra correcta, ¿verdad? Y hay otras cositas de, de meramente de gramática, por ejemplo, cuando uno se presenta y dice, voy a hablar de, ¿ok? Voy a hablar de, como es en futuro, porque usted va a hablar, es I will. Eso todavía, no sé si en básico, no, en básico uno creo que no lo han visto, no sé. El will, futuro, I will talk about, no es of, porque el of significa de. Pero uno dice, I will talk about. Voy a hablar sobre. I will talk about England. I will talk about New Zealand. I will talk about uh, el, el lo que le he tocado hablar. I am going to talk about the currency. All right. Este, como el texto... Fue buscado de Google, ¿verdad? Todo. Entonces, tenía muchas pronunciaciones que eran complicadas. Yo lo entiendo. Lo entiendo que era bien complicado. Así que por eso, eso también es de agradecerse. La verdad es que este, a pesar de que el, 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 el ¿cómo se llama? Uh, el vocabulario era un poco raro en algunas ocasiones, hicieron lo mejor posible. ¿Ok? Hay algunas cosas de pronunciación, de tiempo verbales que no hemos visto. Las he apuntado 
pero la voy a dejar pasar porque no hemos visto eso. Por ejemplo, el pasado, el pasado simple de los verbos. All right. En lugar de eh, separated, me dijeron separate. So, esas cositas las voy a dejar pasar por ahorita porque no hemos visto el, el simple past. All right. Pero hay otras cosas que sí. Por ejemplo, en la presentación decía a, a, approximately, aproximadamente, approximately, y la palabra estaba ahí en la presentation. Y me dijeron approximation. Teniendo la palabra ahí, que decía approximately, y lo que dijeron fue approximation. Ah, entonces, ahí sí hay una gran diferencia entre approximately y approximation. ¿Verdad? Entonces, este, palabras chiquitas como, por ejemplo, area. Y le estamos diciendo como I, area. Otra que se oyó bastante en la mayoría de grupos que mencionaron islas. No es Iceland. Uh -uh. La S es muda. All right? Es I, I, land. I, land. Así, así como se oye así. I, Land. Porque si usted dice Island, Island se está refiriendo a Islandia, que es Island. Es así. Es así, es Island. Pero Isla es Island, sin la S. All right. Um, uh, let's see. Hiking. Por, voy a decir. Las que yo tengo aquí notadas, no sé de qué, bueno, sí sé de qué grupo son, ¿verdad? Pero ustedes reconocerán. Hiking, hiking. Trails, trials. Eh, eh, steepest, steppest. Uh, let's see. Centigrades, centigrades, centigrades. All right. Uh, B esta palabra la dijeron mucho B esta que está aquí es como adiós bye bye y bye se pronuncian igual bye bye no es B es bye and bye y así tengo una lista grande de todos en general tengo una lista individual de las que han dicho All right. So, si luego que les comparta nota tiene usted alguna duda de su pronunciación, me dice. Pero realmente, guys, solo fue pronunciación. All right. So, we, we, can, we can improve that. Eso lo podemos mejorar, guys. Acuérdense que van para, vamos para nivel básico 3 y estos errores no pueden continuar. All right. Vamos a ver cómo en el próximo nivel este, hacemos, nos enfocamos aún más en hablar. Todos los días, todos los días, all right? Vamos a, vamos a hacer el propósito de todos los días tener un tema de discusión. ¿Qué va a hablar? No sé. Tiene que usted que inventarse en el momento, buscar hablar, porque les aseguro que este es el único momento que nos permite hablar, all right? So, presionese un poquito más, busque más verbos, all right? Eh, que nos permitan tener más fluidez, ¿ok? Eh, las presentaciones claramente estuvieron muy buenas. Me refiero a las... A los, a los PowerPoints, o no sé en qué lo hicieron, pero están súper chivísimas. All right. Very good. Very good. The information, the pictures, super good. Vamos a trabajar más en la, en la pronunciación. Eso es más que todo, guys. No me interesa mucho la gramática porque eso se va manejando con el tiempo, pero la pronunciation, yes. Porque si, si nos quedamos pronunciando malas palabras, luego nos va a costar corregirlas. All right. Pero por ahora, eh, para en descansar, hemos terminado una semana más, ¿verdad? Y un curso, porque el lunes venimos solo la última clase y that's, y, y that, y that's it. All right. So, thank you. Este, uh, please on Monday. Please on Monday. No, no me vayan a faltar el lunes porque todavía tenemos que completar 90 minutos del lunes. All right. So, y tenemos que ver el zero conditional on Monday. All right. So, uh, to finish everything, I want to thank you again. Right and see you on Monday, Jennifer. Do you have a question? Uh, we didn't take the pic the 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 photo today. The picture. Oh my God! <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. 
you saved me. Let's go to the picture. Give me one moment. Give me one moment. All right. Smile for the camera. Perfect. Jennifer, thank you very much. <laughs> Teacher, I have a question. Yes, You're Jake. welcome. Um, uh, ¿Para cuándo tenemos que mandarle eh, como la finalización o, o lo completado de la plataforma? Hasta el lunes. Tienen hasta el lunes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Excellent. Okay, guys. Thank you, teacher. Diviértanse el fin de semana. Descansen and see you on Monday. Bye. Take care. Teacher. All right. Good night, teacher. Thank Bye. you, teacher. All right. Teacher. Bye-bye. <laughs> Jennifer, do you want to tell me anything? Teacher. Yeah. I, 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 will, I will send you the... the can, I, can I send you the, the screenshot of the unit three and four uh, tomorrow? Yes, you can. Or 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 till Monday. It's okay. You can do it tomorrow or until Monday. It's up to you. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Ciao. Bye. Oh, bye. Karen, bye. Karen. Happy weekend. Bye. Happy okay. weekend. Take care. Okay. Karen. Karen Castillo. Sí, este que yo este le quería comentar de que no había podido mandar tampoco la la se me había olvidado. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> But send it today, tomorrow, or Monday. All right? Okay. Thank Perfect. you. Thank you. Bye now. Take care. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.